Fred Van Fleet went off on the referee, Ben Taylor. And this is what Fred Van Fleet had to say. Here's the video. I mean, I don't mind. I'll take a fine. I don't really care. I thought, you know, um, Ben Taylor was terrible tonight. Um, I thought that on most nights, you know, a couple other, you know, out of the three, there's one or two that just the game up. You know, and it's, it's, it's been like that a couple couple games in a row. Um, Denver was tough, obviously. You come out tonight, you're competing pretty hard. The third quarter, I get a bull tech, changes the whole dynamic of the game, changes the whole flow of the game. And, um, you know, most of the refs are trying hard. I like a lot of the refs are trying hard. They're pretty fair. They communicate well. And then you got the other ones who just want to be dead. And, um, just kind of the game up. Nobody's coming to see that shit. They come to see the players. And um, I think we're losing a little bit of the fabric of what the NBA is and was and um it's been disappointing this season um you can look up most of my texts this year have been with ben taylor officiating so at a certain point as a player you feel it's personal and um it's never a good place to be that's not why we lost tonight we got outplayed um but it definitely makes it tougher to overcome shortly after that fred van fleet was fined 30k for what he said about the nba refs a new report came out about celtics marcus smart he was quoted saying that he feels like the NBA refs have a personal vendetta out against him. Remember LeBron James just recently had a viral moment about the horrible officiating towards the end of the game with the Celtics. Let's watch that clip right here. Wow. Clear foul on Tatum. And there's where you, know, you talked about the challenge, Jeff, not but, having it but, after a successful challenge. Right, but they wouldn't be able to challenge that any replay serves no purpose in our game. Overtime is next. Yeah, with that being said, man, I want to highlight Gilbert Arenas. Gil's Arenas, he just touched on the NBA officiating, man, and I felt like he broke it down the best way possible. Salute to Gilbert Arenas for his new show. At Gil's Arenas, I'll have his link down below if you guys want to go check it out. With that being said, let me highlight what Gilbert Arenas said about the NBA refs. Here's the video. Be sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already. That helps this YouTube channel continue to grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Stay up to date with all of my current YouTube videos. Peace. So I've never really had problems with refs. So I, I you know, I always knew their names. I uh, treat them like humans, understanding that there's three refs. So that means there's three different personalities. They're going to see the game three different ways, right? So you just got to figure out um, who does what. You know, this person likes to call the game a little tighter. He likes and ones. He don't like blowouts. You have to understand the refs. But <laughs> I compare refs to police, mm. right? Mm. That's when I, when I talk about, you know, the overall refs, they're the same as police officers, right? Um, they use their power. Like they overuse the power they have. That whistle is like a gun. I love this. In my mind. I love that. Right? Um, those guys are trained to hold their emotions, not us, right? We are trained, we're playing, yeah. we are in an emotional environment, but you're trying to tell me that I need to hold my emotions down while you get to lose yours. You gotta remember, a cop telling you, you should be responsible for this yeah. element, yeah. and I'm the one that's been trained, yeah. and I shoot you. Wow. Same thing with a ref. Yeah. You're telling me that, like, the reason I'm speaking to you is because you're up, yeah. and you missed this call, and you're telling me to calm down, you give me a technical, that means you just lost your cool. Oh. You have no you have no skin in this game. You're just supposed to be repping it. You don't have no skin. So the fact that you actually call technicals lets you really know they are not in control. They're, they have too much emotions invested in the game when this is not, they didn't come here to see you. Yeah. Call the calls you see. If not, if I tell you, hey, you this and that, you shouldn't even have no problem. It is, you yes. zoned out. Yes. You can come back at me, shut up. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the fact that you are taking it so personal means you are an emotional man and you should not have a whistle. Wow. Like, if you go back and listen to, I, I don't even have to listen to it. I can see it. Um, who just got the technical, Scotty Barnes. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I guarantee you that ref gave him a technical because Scotty Barnes had to say you were cheating or something that had to do with cheating. Mm. And he got a technical for that. I, I, if you ask Scotty Barnes, I guarantee you, he said, because he, he had the interview, he didn't say what he said, because usually you'd be like, all right, cuss us out. Yeah. He said something that has to do with cheating, that's the ref gave him a tech. Yep. Too much power. You, you have no, inf like, this is not your game. They didn't come to see you. You have no emotional involvement in the sport. You are there to ref it, ref it.
giving people texts and kicking them out because you can't handle what they say is the problem. Like I'm talking to you because you missed something, right? You, you f first. Then I tell you, you fucked up. You get mad and give me a technical. So you penalize me for the sh you got wrong, first of all. Yeah, and that's, yeah. that's like, it's, it's, it's. So I'm gonna read y'all Scott Foster's statement on the Scotty Barnes text. Who? Scott Foster. You know that 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 him. That's the last person that should be. Because it's in line with what you're saying, though. He was ejected on one oh. technical foul because he used verbiage that, which directly questioned the integrity of the crew. Wow, oh, cheating. So um, with that being said, man, that's it for today's video. Smash that thumbs up button for me if you haven't already. That helps my page continue to grow. I appreciate y'all guys, man. And we out, man. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.